step into the room, we're about ready to get started. This summit has been designed to not just have great speakers come in and tell us, but to begin to internalize what it means to us as professionals and be able to take that back out to the community and to our jobs. The timing of this sustainability summit is exactly right. We have experienced a number of what I would consider very strange and unique events dealing with the environment. Flooding, unusual temperature changes, air pollution concerns, especially over in China that we've seen. We have reached out to um, non-civil engineers, others that speak to the issue of sustainability. And it's important that we bring all of these players together. We talked to a lot of disciplines, um, and, uh, but it always came down in every meeting I've been into the built environment, how we create it, how we live in it. And so I jump at the chance to talk to civil engineers and say, you know, it really comes down to you. We will either succeed because of your skills or we will fail because of your indifference and lack of To me, sustainability is no longer something that's an add-on or it's maybe something you might do. It has to be one of the core attributes of everything we do, whether it's building something, designing something, how we live, the decisions, what we buy. Sustainability, the only way the human species is going to interact with the world that we're on is if that becomes part of it, not separate. The good thing about getting people physically together is that you start to realize that you're not a lone voice, that there are other people who are working in different parts of the country, in different kinds of organizations who are on the same wavelength that you are. They're, they're faced with the same challenges that you are. We're not talking in conceptual areas anymore. We're talking about those who are getting things done. The four topic areas that we're focusing on at this summit are, one, creating the urgency, two, civil engineering leadership, three, making the business case, and four, communicating and measuring results. The challenge is to be able to mix that urgency with inspiration and have people feel that, that this is not only urgent but doable and uh, justifiable. I've been working on sustainability for uh, almost two dozen years now, and in order to really have an integrated, successful, sustainable process, you really have to have all the engineers at the table to identify opportunities early on, and I would put right at the top of the list, first and foremost, the civil engineers. I mean, we're really talking fundamentally about how we as human beings are gonna live for the next 100 to 200 years. Civil engineers engaged, they've always done that in the past. They have been the pathway to civilization. I want them now to be the pathway to a better civilization. We need to stop these silo approaches to what we're doing. We need to get a voice, a common voice, and make this an unstoppable movement. And now we're asking the question, what is the next thing to take the profession to the next level. The next level in terms of harder challenges where we really need to get large groups together to work together and find kind of common language and common frameworks for working together. Infrastructure impacts people's quality of life in neighborhoods. And if we build more consciously about understanding what people need first and have the infrastructure serve the needs of people, then we are actually improving community quality of life and we are being sustainable.